This is a major change of heart for him. Kalanick was, is planning to sell 29% of his shares, according to a source, but he wanted to sell half of his stake. That's a maximum amount board members were allowed to sell in this SoftBank transaction. The value is the company at a 30% discount to its latest valuation. Kalanick was limited, though, because the round was oversubscribed. Now, this is an about face for him because this is, of course, the company he founded and has had unwavering faith in. He didn't want to leave Uber last summer, but was forced out by investors. He remains on the board, and he has previously said that he wouldn't sell any shares in this offer. Back in 2016, he even boasted that he never sold a single share of Uber ever. I think what a lot of people don't know is that I've never sold a single Uber share. So um, the most expensive thing I bought, I bought before Uber started, and it's my home. And it was right around a million bucks. Now it's safe to say, guys, that mortgage will no longer be a problem. Kalanick currently holds about 10% of Uber, selling nearly a third of his stake, even at the lower valuation, would give him $1.4 billion and minting him a real, no longer just paper, billionaire. The big question is, what is he going to do with all of that real money, and what does it mean for the future of Uber? The SoftBank deal drastically reduces Kalanick's power and influence, and now he's cashing out, perhaps to step back or do something new. Carl, back over to you. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.